Hello and welcome to how to understand blueprint nodes. So in this video, I'm going to go through and introduce you to how a node is constructed uh, and what are the elements of it. So a node like this, the line trace by channel node is a function and functions are blue or green. And this one in particular is blue. And you can tell it's a function because it has a big F in the corner of it. Functions do stuff and they typically require two things, inputs and outputs. Now the inputs here are what we call parameters. And these are uh, bits of information that the function needs in order to operate. So you plug in these things on the left hand side and on the right hand side you get outputs. So inputs go in on the left, outputs go out on the right. And these outputs then you can then use those as part of other functions. You can store them as variables, you can then use them for calculations and so forth. So be prepared to always make sure you've got something plugging into the left as an input and out on the right hand side is outputs this is particularly why we tend to do the code from left to right it makes it a lot easier to feed in and feed out now there are different types of nodes as i said this is a function node you do have event graph nodes as well so event nodes like event begin play are red nodes and these don't have any inputs that's because these are the first starting blocks of all blueprints blueprinting and all code in general is a cause and effect term meaning that something will happen because something else does and these are the triggers so event begin play is the trigger and then it will fire off this execute line connecting to other functions to do stuff you also have other function nodes such as get player character and these get functions are green typically and they're mostly used to get information they don't actually change anything they don't actually do anything different they just receive information from something okay so they retrieve information from somewhere and now put it back out so in this case we get the player character so it's probably is looking at the player controller that's currently being used look at its pawn that's being used and output it as a cast to a particular character object so here again on the left we've got an input here from a player index which is zero which by the way refers to the current player playing the game doing multiplier like split screen then this index will change and the return value on the right hand side is the output this outputs the object reference to that particular player character another type of node are the utility nodes and these are things like the for each loop for example and these are gray and they typically will take these inputs on the left hand side and output uh, and redirect the flow of the nodes afterwards so this one does a loop and then outputs are completed whereas a branch will split a loop uh, uh, split the uh, the node line into two based on the condition uh, you got to do once which will uh, or do any in this one uh, which will stop it from continuing on after a certain amount uh, so they basically control the flow of the node itself again going from left to right now there are many different types of nodes available but these are probably the most common ones you'll probably be using okay um there are also variables you have on the left hand side which you can drag out and get information like so these are getters and setters also note when you're getting information you do not need an execute line which are these white arrows but when you are setting information you do and that kind of brings us to the end of this introduction to understanding blueprints. If you want to see more videos about how to understand blueprints better, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all of those videos before anyone else and show your support for me as well. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.